Now, of President Trump's former attorney, convicted felon Michael Cohen, Vermont Congressman Peter Welch probing the president's possible knowledge of the release of stolen Democratic emails during an historic, fiery, and unprecedented hearing in Washington. Really, it just wrapped up within the hour. Republicans focusing on discrediting Cohen's claims of racism and criminal activity by his former client. Local 22, Stacey De Silva joining us now live in the newsroom with more on this hearing. Stacey? Good evening to you, Lauren and Mike. Congressman Welch spent his five minutes asking Cohen about WikiLeaks and Roger Stone. He's the former Trump advisor who has been indicted for allegedly lying to Congress. Cohen claiming nothing happens in the Trump orbit without him knowing. He is a racist. He is a con man. And he is a cheat. The man who once said he would take a bullet for Donald Trump, now telling the House Oversight Committee they were partners in crime. I pled guilty in federal court to felonies for the benefit of, at the direction of, and in coordination with individual number one, President Donald J. Trump. Michael Cohen is headed to prison in May after the president's former fixer admitted to tax evasion, lying to Congress, and campaign finance law violations. This is the check Cohen says President Trump gave him in 2018 to reimburse him for illegal hush money payments made to silence women ahead of the 2016 election. The days of this committee protecting the president at all costs are over. This might be the first time someone co convicted of lying to Congress has appeared again so quickly in front of Congress. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch zeroed in on allegations then-candidate Trump knew about WikiLeaks' plans to release stolen Democratic emails in 2016. Rona Graff uh, yelled out to Mr. Trump, Rogers on line one. Cohen says he overheard a conversation between Trump and Roger Stone, who Cohen says had just spoken to the head of WikiLeaks, Julian Assange. It was a short conversation, and he said, Mr. Trump, I just want to let you know that I just got off the phone with Julian Assange, and in a couple of days, there's going to be a massive dump of emails. That's going to severely hurt the Clinton campaign. Cohen says the president stated, wouldn't that be great? Did Mr. Trump ever suggest then or later to call the FBI to report this breach? He never expressed that to me. Uh, did the president at that time or ever since, in your knowledge, uh, indicate an awareness that this conduct was wrong? No. WikiLeaks tweeted Wednesday, Assange and Stone have never had a phone call. Cohen also added he's aware of other possible illegal acts by President Trump that are currently under investigation by federal prosecutors in New York. The Trump campaign releasing a statement writing disbarred lawyer and a convicted perjurer who lied to both Congress and the special counsel in a deliberate and premeditated fashion, according to the special counsel's office. Now he offers what he says is evidence, but the only support for that is his own testimony, which has proven before to be worthless. Live in the newsroom, Stacey DeSilva, Local 22 News. Back to you.